Hey cute people, it's Monday afternoon and I'm doing another video, one of my favorites. I hope you guys saw the last video that I uploaded because it was a makeup video. Like I mentioned more than once, I had always wanted to upload one so I finally got a chance to do it and I'm looking forward to doing another one. Maybe even tomorrow when I step out, maybe I'll try it again. But I just want to show you guys some things that I picked up from Dollar Tree. And I've told you more than once that in the Dollar Trees that I shop in, I get a lot of things late. So a lot of these things you may have seen before, but I just want to show you guys my haul while I'm looking at this spider crawl on my table, my desk here. I tell you, these spiders, um, I'm starting to see less of them, but I still see them. But either way, let me just show you what I have. Okay, so one thing I think I mentioned to you before in the last haul, I do like to decorate planners. I have several. I don't know if I'm going to keep up with it, but I saw this and I thought it was cute. These are two sheets of border stickers, my plan, my way, and they're just stickers. I thought these were really cute. Um, I can use the whole sticker if I like, or I could um, cut them in half and use them as tabs or something, but I thought these were cute, so I got these. Something else that I got, I always get their LED string lights. I wish I had gotten more, but I got two different type here. I got one that, I guess these are supposed to be leaves. You see, and this one here would be petals. I guess these are petals. But I thought these were so cute. The other ones I just hauled not long ago, I'm gonna put them outside um, on my front porch. I bought three, and these are 10 lights, and they do require batteries, but they're really cute. And I think I'll use them for the spring when it comes again. Because I think these are really nice. Something that I had been looking for in Dollar Tree for the longest, but I had never seen. And I went to another Dollar Tree um, outside of my area and I found this. And I need this so much because I didn't want to pay $15, $16 for it. As you can see, it is a, what do they call it? A f cell phone holder, plain and simple. And this is what it looks like. I think they had white, but I just wanted this one here. So I'm looking forward to it because tomorrow I am going on a hmm, adventure tomorrow. I've been to this place before, but it's about an hour to get there. I wouldn't have to get there and I wouldn't have to get back home. So I'll need this because before I just had my cell phone laying in the car just anywhere and everywhere. This isn't really new. I had it for a while and put it down somewhere, but I wish I had gotten another one and hopefully they sell these either online or I can find it again and it's just a letter board with 50 letters and I thought this was really cute did they have other colors oh I can't remember if they did or not but I thought this was so cute I went back like the next week and these were all gone and I don't know why I didn't get two I think, I think it's so cute I'm not sure what message I will put on it but it's really really cute so I like this another thing that I got I hold um, the three outlet before. Now I have a six outlet. And <laughs> I posted in a group that I'm in um, for Dollar Tree. And someone was like, oh, no, I wouldn't use those. And what I've been doing, I have been using it. But I just use it during the day. And then I unplug it from the outlet at night. I don't leave it plugged in. So it'll only be plugged in when I'm at home. And I brought this because I could use it. And um, it was a dollar, so I got it. It doesn't say anything about um, the UL, the laboratory listings or whatever that is. But it's six, and, and I need it. I need it, I need it, I need it. Something else that I picked up, I like drying mats. I don't like those, um, what do you call those things? I'm not sure what you call it, but I bought these two. Um, the Dollar Trees that I shop at, they never have the mats. So whenever I go someplace else and I see them, I pick them up. So I got this because you can see it's fall inspired. Pumpkins are everywhere. I thought that was really cute. I got this mirror here because I saw someone here on YouTube take a mirror and make a vanity tray for the bathroom. I intend to do the same thing, but I don't know how that's going to work out. But this is a mirror that I purchased. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, it's really small. It's not really a long one, but I want to fix it up and, like I mentioned, um, use it as a vanity in the bathroom. Put, like, little um, bottles of 
lotion or whatever it is that you use because I feel figure it'll be a little neater because people put the stuff all over the counter you know I like it in one concentrated area so maybe that would help I thought this was really really cute I hope you do too I know they had other colors but I don't know if the other colors had other sayings I thought this was cute it's made out of wood it's here's what it looks like in the back has a it has the cut out eyes. I don't know if you can see, but the eyes are cut out. See my finger there. I thought this is so cute. But I know they had blue and I believe pink. This is purple, so hopefully it looks like it's coming off the actual color. But I thought this is really cute decor. And I also picked up from Dollar Tree. I thought this was cute too. This little piggy bank. Yes. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm keeping it for myself. I don't have anybody to give it to, but it's blue. By the time that I had gotten to these, they had white. And I believe it was another animal, I believe. But I thought this blue was really, really pretty. Because I told you guys, I just want a lot of color around my home. So I got this here. Another thing I picked up from the store. I like these things. I have a plant in front of my... House. well on my porch and I'm gonna stick this right in the plant I thought this was cute I had one for Christmas then I had one for summer like a frog and now I'll have this this that's autumn and I thought it was so cute they had a lot of different types but this is the one I really gravitated toward I love candles that you know so I picked up this um, mirrored candle holder with the gold around it I think they had other colors. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. Even though this looks glittery, it's not like a loose glitter that will um, fall out all over the place. But I like this. So put a nice candle on top of it, a decorative candle. And then I got these. These are not anything new, but I thought these were so cute. Yeah, see the little llama and then a pineapple. And I don't know where. Oh, there's that spider. I'm not, I'm not sure where I'm going to put these. I probably would use it, something, use it for something different than just ring holders. Because they are trinket trays. So I'm going to put maybe one in. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to put them. And then again, I may just put one down. And then later on, move it and put another one down. Because they don't have to be out at the same time. Just They have to be out because they are pretty cute. And I got another trinket holder. This one says, good morning. Here's what it looks like. And one thing I can say about this stuff, it's ceramic. It sounds good. It feels good. Uh, it'll break if I drop it. And it's a great price for a dollar, right? A dollar. I saw these and nearly lost my mind because I have a lot of these candle warmers, but I can't. And I said I was going to stop buying them, but I saw these colors here and I just had to have them. Look at these colors. This green, this orange. And this blue and I believe they had white but I didn't want the white aren't these gorgeous the colors oh goodness when I saw these I said I have got to have them and like I said I like candle warmers because I have the oil and I have a little um, the tea lights that I can burn you know the oil but I like those but it's just the colors really oh my goodness the colors are gorgeous now, you know, if you're going into Dollar Tree, you're definitely going to stop at the beauty section, which is what I did. And one thing I always will pick up and look at to see what type of mask they have. So I picked up two by Bolero. And I, I know I use these masks. Well, I hold these masks a lot. And I do um, use masks, but I haven't used a mask in a very long time. And I'm going to get into, well, get back into using them because to me, using a mask is very um, relaxing. I don't know if it actually does anything to your face, but it's very relaxing. I hope you didn't see me wiping my nose. I told you guys whenever I film or put on makeup, my nose starts running. But I got the Blueberry Bliss. It's a paper facial mask. And this one here is all that glitz this is also a paper facial mask and it's pomegranate and green tea and this one here doesn't really say but it tells me that it's free of parabens and dyes so i'm really looking forward to using these i did get some more because they always have yes to carrots and this one here is for a man 
So I'm gonna pass these on. I got two of these. Yes to Natural Man Charcoal Detox Paper Mask. You see how they want your man's money to? Your man, your son, whoever, they want his money to give him a mask. And it's a charcoal paper mask. And this here is Yes to Carrots or Yes to Tomatoes. I'm so used to saying Yes to Carrots, but this is for acne, so it has salicylic acid in it. And it's also, oh, this is a mud mask. Okay. I have so many masks, I just need to start using them. But I really like, you know, chilling, using them, nice glass of wine, even a glass, a glass of beer if I have it. Now, I also picked up, um, I, now this, I'm glad I picked it up, but I'm not sure why I did. It's a um, setting spray by LA Colors. I don't know. I, I've seen people do videos. It's perfect for travel. But I've seen people do videos like um, Dollar Tree makeup looks and such like that. But I don't know if I heard anybody say how they like this or if it was worth it. Or I'm going to think it's not too bad because LA Girls, are they sister company to LA Girl? LA Colors? I don't know. But I'm, I am going to try it. I am going to try it. Something else I picked up because I love hand lotions. I don't know how this smells. I don't know if it's worth my $1. But I bought this as Bolero. It's the Hibiscus and Pink Clay Hand Cream. You get two. And the packaging is so pretty. These are really, really cute for um, a gift. Maybe like um, a grab bag for Christmas because it's so pretty. I mean, you're going to give them this and something else, hopefully. But I like this. So it has two. And this scent here is, it says it's made with natural hibiscus and pink clay is what it says. So remember, this is hibiscus and pink, pink clay. So I'm definitely looking forward to using that. I mentioned to you that I like masks, right? So um, I've never tried a paper mask, have I? No. Most of them are clay masks or the kind that um, you place onto your face. Like a, it's not a liquid, but um a substance but I had wanted to get something like this um, for a while and I saw this at um, Dollar Tree so I picked it up this is sassy and she can you see it and as you can see it's a silicone facial mask applicator and the reason I got it I was gonna get a set that I would seen in what is that store Walmart um, it was a set I think like three pieces but I said you know I don't need that I'm glad I got this because this is all I need so that way I don't have to worry about putting my hands in stuff or having stuff all over my hand I could just swoop it out with the brush with the um, applicator and then just wash it off now this I thought was really cute when I saw this yes child this is an electrical nail kit I only got one. I should have gotten another one. As a matter of fact, when I go back, if they have another one, I'm going to get it. But I think it's so cute because I don't know if you notice. I used to keep my nails long. I cut them. Then I grow them out. I cut them. Now they're short. I'm going to cut them again. And I like this. Um, it does use batteries, of course. Um, how many batteries? Insert the new battery. Okay, it's one battery. And, of course, the battery is not included. But it has the um, electric base, um, a sharpening tool, a cuticle pusher, and a buffer tool. So that's the three tools here. And this is only a dollar. Now, how long it'll last, I don't know. But I am looking forward to using this. And I think I'm going to get another one. Nothing wrong with having quite a few of these here. And I also bought this under eye massager. Now, if you watch my previous video or just any video in general that I always mention that I have dark circles under my eyes and today I kind of try to camouflage them a little bit um because I'm trying to get out of well I'm just trying to do a little bit better with my um concealing and not being so lazy and not wanting to conceal my dark circles so I got this here and I don't know how much it would work but one thing I can say with my dark circles I think if I get back into a routine I don't think that they're going to disappear because it's like a hyper pigmentation thing I think they'll disappear because I'm bringing circulation back to my face that's what I think so I bought this under eye massager so I'm gonna use it and it's a dollar so I can't go too long I know they had other colors but I like this one here so I got it one thing I did get is that um I'm not sure why I got but I thought these would be fun because I want to do more um 
make a videos on the channel. So I thought these would be fun to play with. They're only a dollar. I got two pairs of lashes from them. And if you watched my last video, I hope that you did. If you haven't, you may as well go ahead and watch it. I um, asked you guys about natural lashes, but nobody gave me an answer. So I guess they didn't get that far in the video, I guess. It was long. It was long. But anyway, so this one here is supposed to be natural full. So this is natural full doll. That's what these are. They're full. I don't see anything natural about them. I want something natural. That is really hard to find. Like I said, this says natural, but they are long, so they ain't natural. And then you have this one is the Wispy One. Natural Light Wispy Doll is what this one is called. And they do have um, quite a few other ones, I believe. I only got these two because... Why did I get these two? They both say 3D Faux Mink Lashes, too. Uh, see oh yeah you can see all right so that's what it looks like and that's what this one looks like here so i got these like i said i really got them to play in because this is not my style for wearing out but they are um cruelty free and vegan so that's a good thing so i got those i have lash glue but i have had it for a while so i said let me just get another one so la colors had this um lash adhesive so i got this these two in here can you tell that there's two no you can't really tell but there's two in there so i got this here and it's clear so i figured hey why not i'll get this now i bought these but this is something that i'm gonna stop using um for environmental reasons I got two of Bolero's facial wipes. And these are the two that I got. Okay, so this one here is Honeysuckle and Green Tea. The packaging is so cute. Isn't the packaging groovy? I love the packaging. And then this one here is um, Coconut Water. Coconut Water. So I got this one too, which I thought was would smell good. I don't know if they have or not. But the only reason why, and each, okay, they each have 30, so that's good. The reason why I say that after I use this, this would be it for wipes for me. Because I think with the environment and all that we're going through and such, you know, I want to be more environmentally conscious. And these things, if you know, they are hard for the, well, it's hard to get rid of them once you throw them in the garbage. They end up somewhere, um... I'm not really sure where, and I'm not sure where I'm going with the story, but um, I think it'd be better for me. I'm just going to use a cloth. I'm going to get a facial cloth and just use the cloth and stop using these. But I am going to use them because I have them, right? And there you go. Okay, so those are the things that I picked up from Dollar Tree. Usually when I go into Dollar Tree, I hit every aisle to see if there's something that I've never seen before. In the Dollar Tree that I shop in, like I mentioned, there's always something that I hadn't seen before that I saw someone else haul. But I think what I'm going to start doing is just maybe trying not to go to Dollar Tree so much because... I never really see a lot of things that I want. I see enough and I do have a Dollar Tree stash. I'm gonna show you my stash one day. And yeah, I was going somewhere with that comment, but I lost my train of thought. But I am gonna stop going to Dollar Tree so much because um, a, a lot of things that they have, I have those things already, like these um, candle warmers. I have a lot of these, but these I just, I couldn't leave these. Look at this pretty orange color no way in the world I could leave this in this store. Yeah. So it's like, how many candle warmers can I have? But I like them. Yeah. And then when it comes to little decor and trinkets and stuff like that, how many of these could I have? Because I think over here in my stash, I'll probably have like three or four or five or six. But it's whatever. But when it comes to beauty and makeup, you can never have enough of that, right? So I'm going to end this video now because I intend to wash my hair and also fry some chicken. Nope, fish, fish, fish. And I'm not sure which I'm going to do first, but I know I need to end this video so I can get started. And yeah, 
So I want to thank you for stopping by to watch my video. Hopefully you will subscribe while you're here. And do me a favor. If you haven't watched the previous video, watch my makeup video because um, it took me some time to get into that. And then while you're there, like that video and like this video. Like this video first and go watch that video and like it too. Yes, I'd greatly appreciate that. And subscribing too. So again, I'm going to get started with the next phase of my day. And I do want to say thank you very much for stopping by and watching. And hopefully I'll see you in the next.